Alright, welcome to this uh, Java programming tutorial. We've learned a little about a, a little bit about variables. We've learned about how to uh, use variables with scanners. We've learned about variable math. So now we're going to put that all together and just uh, learn about some simple calculations and stuff like that. Uh, programs that you pro code with Java can be very useful in creating problem solving programs. So what we're going to do is uh, make a program that can find the area and circumference of a circle. So, what we're going to do is first we're going to assign pi to 3.14. So we'll type double pi equals 3.14. Alright, so we're going to be using that uh, in our calculations. So we're going to go ahead and assign it to that variable. Then what we're going to do is going to read the radius of the circle. So we're going to do um, system.out.println enter the radius of the circle and then we're going to do uh, double radius equals sc dot next double alright so we stored that now what we're going to do is calculate the area of the circle what we're going to do is we're going to create a new double area equals uh, radius times radius times pi. Alright? Radius. Alright? So that's the, uh, the equation for finding the area of a circle. Uh, pi times r squared. Or, uh, yeah. So then we'll find the circumference of an area, which will be double circumference equals 2 times radius times pi. Alright, so that's the equation for the circumference of a circle. Then we're going to print these two out. So we're going to do system.out.println the area of the circle is plus area and we'll do system dial to print line the circumference circumference of the circle is circumference alright so let's run this real quick say enter the radius of the circle we'll say 3 the area of the circle is 28.26. The circumference of the circle is 18.84, and you would obviously need uh, the um, unit for what you're uh, printing that out to. But you know, for now, we're just focusing on calculating and finding stuff like that. So that's a good example for doing stuff like calculations. Uh, we can also do just basic addition and stuff, and uh, I'll show that real quick. We'll get rid of these. So we don't need that and get rid of that and we'll do we'll just do two people's GPA and compare them so enter your GPA double GPA one equals SC dot next double and we'll do that again system out dot print enter your best friends GPA GPA two equals SC dot next double then we're gonna do double GPA final equals GPA 1 plus GPA 2 divided by 2. Alright, we'll do system dot out dot print line your the average of you and your best friends GPA is, and we'll do plus GPA final. So we'll do my GPA is 3.9. My best friend's GPA is 3.4. The average of our GPA is 5.6. That's obviously not right. So what we've done here is uh, the Java follows order of operations, which means that if it sees a GPA or something plus something and then a division it'll do the division first so what it's doing is dividing 
GPA 2 by 2 and then adding them both together. So what we really have to do is put these in quotation or uh, parentheses. So I'll add them first and then divide it by 2. So we'll run this again. Here are the same GPAs, 3.9 and 3.4. It'll give us the real average, which is 3.65. So make sure you're doing that. That screws a lot of people up when they're doing math like this, but it's something very important that you have to learn. So uh, that's that, and if you want to move on, go ahead and do so. Thanks for watching this tutorial.